Hello folks, um, I was going to use my laptop to record this one um, whilst I get my new tablet sound sorted out if I can otherwise I'll have to stay with the, uh, with the, the main computer but if you listen to this, if the sound is bad, or if it's not bad, but if it's too low, listen to it on headphones and see how, how you go. I'd like some feedback on this one. Uh, I'm, this is the Fabriano 130 pound. I haven't used it for a while in favor of all the uh, Windsor and Newson rough 90 pounds, and there's not much of that left. And another three packs of uh, Saunders Waterford 90 pound rough which is lovely paper so I'm a bit lost with this one and I'll have to get used to it again so I'm going to wet it all over I would have used my laptop but I'm copying 1500 photograph demo, demo photos off of my main computer to to copy the folder or paste the folder into my new tablet Windows 10 of course which has has some nice things about it and some things that are not quite so nice this paper is like uh, oh no I was talking about the Saunders, Saunders I'll give it a bit of a coat all over with some raw sienna just to give a, a general warmth I'm thinking of doing a, a flooded heathland type of scene I quite like those and I was going to do one of uh, my local river but I'm afraid <laughs> Stephen Cronin beat me to it on I posted one on uh, on our Facebook page on Manson Disciples page it's free to any, anyone or hate painters anyway fast and loose clip. started by Matthew Clements over a year ago now and it's been very, very successful a nice community going on there so if you like the hake and the fast painting or relatively fast painting not in the style we don't have the copy Ron Manson we do our own thing uh, right I'll put in a bit of the sky now the sky today I'm painting uh, skies that I see going overhead apart from blue skies which I'm not a great lover of so we've got a grey bit, bit of warm going right across it's very streaky with some some light coming through there some darker shadows the shadows underneath let's just darken that a little bit let's be quite slick quite fast with this paper because it's it's quite slick it once it starts to dry you can't work on it very easily so we'll leave that there Right, I'm going to dry that now, so you can mute your sound. I'm mute now. Oh, okay. <coughs> I'll reclip the paper again. So, what I started online the first time in the grand old age of 2010, anyway, October 2010. So, I've been online for just over eight years. Um, one laptop which, which I wore out uh, and now I've got three two tablets and one laptop that's not quite that's uh, picking up a bit too much red in there uh, no, 
that's too much. Turn that down. That's pretty good there. I've turned the white the white balance right down on that. This is more it's showing blue on my screen, but I like that white balance to come up here. So kind of intensity, uh, We'll try we'll try that. See what happens. It's a very dull day, that's why, but I've got my spotlights on over the top. Now I haven't dried this uh, beyond the uh no, it's still a bit uh, sticky uppy. Oh no that's true. That'll dry flat. Well I'm going to put in some, some background now, some blue There's a bit of light going through the uh, centre of this. Don't know why I did that. So that's that's the background, and we can put in some bits of nice warm greeny colours. Bring everything a bit closer. So just leave lots of spaces. Some darker shadows under some of those. A bit of blue in, in there. Okay, well that's a sort of a general Oh, let's have some green down there. Okay, so there's plenty of water in there. We can put some detail in that, but it dries, dries off a bit. Which I'm going to do now, if I can crack on with it. <coughs> right, I've put some background, some foreground in, in there now. So, uh, I'm, I've, it's funny that this paper is uh, it's very good. It, it, I, it's very good for lifting out. But in, in other words, the, the paint tends to stay on the surface rather than soak into the paper, like the rough papers. Uh, now, uh, just want to get in some nice dark shadow on that uh, horizon there. Bit of blue, brown. Bit of green in there. Okay. 
Fairy colours a bit. It's a nice awesomey colour in there. I'm making this up as I'm going along. As I usually do. But I want one side dominant. So let's just give them some nice trees in there. See, see that lifts out. Now the rough papers don't do that. Because I've wet the paper. It's loosened up underneath, but the, 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 the other papers, are quite, I say quality papers, they're all different, they do different things. Oh, let's just put in some... Some grasses with reflection in there. Right. Sort of alter me. A bit more blue, I think, and grey. You need a lot of cloth when you're working in watercolour so that you can quickly take your the water out of the brush. Alright. Let that dry in. Don't like that. I'm never going to change that. Bit of detail. I'm going to use Frank Clark's brush hake now. I'm using, I've got them so I, I use them. It's a lovely, it's a lovely brush but it comes to a beveled feathery edge. You see that? It's a, but it's such a good brush for texturing. Holds a lot of water so you've got to be careful of that. Don't overdo this. Oh, so you could see nice glasses. Okay, let's give that a dry. Now, so headphones on or off. Right, not my tea, no. Right, back to the large hake. I could have done all that with the with the with the the, the Rob Ranson hake. Uh, I'm going to put in a bit of some trunks now.
some hikes are very good. This is a good good one. It's uh, it stays together. Sometimes they split, even when they're quite new. So it's a bit of a risk, although they're, they're cheap, aren't they? Oh, I just. Right, let's put a bit of dark in there. Just a, a bit of Payne's grey and a bit of palette grey. Right, okay. Uh, I'm just going to do this all with a with a hike, see if I can get away without doing a rigger, using a rigger. Just hint of wood going through here. And now we're just going to put that blue grey. And we'll put in some blue bits in the background. You have to rely on your eye to tell your brain, or your brain to interpret what is there. It's, it's sort of impressionist painting, creating an idea or mood. You don't have to put everything in. That's what I'm really trying to say. It's just Okay, let that go. Alright, there's not much I want to do with that. Go back to the dark. Bit of detail. There's not, not much more I really want to do with that. I boxed myself in by doing the background too too dark, I think. But uh, anyway, we've got a painting for a Saturday morning. Just bury some of that with the base of those trunks a little bit. A little bit of dark in here. Okay, no people. Put a couple of birds in. The birds just link the sky with the land, I think. So. <coughs> well, no figures, so many figures in that. Right, we'll put a we'll put a mount on it and see what what we've got we've got a picture because you don't have to put every everything in it's what you leave out that makes a painting oh let's have a dark one then that's right this is not quite as uh... oh got a double down here let's wait that on put that on there Let's just take out, let's zoom out a bit on that. And that's not, not a bad reproduction, it's probably just a little bit darker than that, that I can see on the picture. But, uh, I don't know how dark, let's take the brightness down a bit. Don't want to take all. No, a lot of control over this. I'm doing this on tablet. As you can see, I'm trying to just get that brightness down, but it doesn't want to move. Well, it's okay. So it's a 
Blood on the Heath, I'll call that. Uh, let's sign it. Should have done a little bit of bigger work there. Right, let's sign it. Always sign your work, even if it's not very good, because somebody will like it. Beauty being in the eye of the beholder. So I've reduced the size of that picture quite considerably with this mount. So I hope you like this one. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll get it uploaded. My pictures have, have downloaded, so. Oh. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye.